Hey, if you're new here but enjoying the content, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button and join us. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Welcome everyone. Welcome. My name is Ethan Van Skyver, 26-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man, great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media, and my ear is always to the ground. Uh, look at this. This guy caught this early this morning, 9.53 a.m. is when uh, the crime began to take place. Look at this. Uh, D-Day Cobra, that's my friend Jeremy over at Geeks and Gamers, and at Rotten Tomatoes, seems to be deleting reviews. User count used to be at 58,353, but look at this, 58,327. He caught this right at the beginning of the hate crime, right at the beginning of Rotten Tomatoes, uh, which is, uh, by the way, um, has completely sold out, uh, given up all of its hard-won credibility over this one single movie. Now, check this out. It got much worse as the day went on. And indeed it did. By the time I was alerted to this, I was in the middle of a live stream with you guys, and I was getting a ton of chats, people telling me, Ethan, you got to go check out Rotten Tomatoes. They've actually uh, deleted 50,000 plus uh, user ratings. All these reviews, all these ratings by people who have actually seen the movie now, they've actually plowed through them and, and removed them in an act of just callous censorship like you wouldn't believe. I can't believe... Imagine that. Imagine being so butt-blasted about Captain Marvel as a movie review aggregate website that you would betray your fans and your uh, subscribers and your, what would you call them, users, I guess? What do you call people? I mean, do people subscribe to Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, I think you have to have an account and everything. Imagine betraying all these people and wiping out their voices and saying that they don't matter in just a swipe like this. Look at this. Now they're down to 4,296. They deleted. They deleted 54,000 of their own users' remarks on uh, this movie. Why? Well, look at the tomometer. <laughs> look at the tomato meter. I want to find a British alternate pronunciation for this. Tomometer. Tomatometer. The tomatometer actually kind of works. Uh, a tomatometer. Uh, look at this. Uh, 81% uh, of that's. This is the certified fresh. All reviewers. This is what they want you to see. Of course, if you actually click through and, and hit top critics, uh, it sinks down pretty quick to uh, the low 60s uh, as a percentage of uh, reviews. Uh, you know. Um, averaged out. And if you look over here, as usual, Rotten Tomatoes and reviewers are not really connected. They seem to be not really connected with the public. I mean, you guys, uh, the moviegoers, people who actually pay to see these movies, they go to see them and their enjoyment is what's actually important. Um, you know, whether or not uh, this movie was something that they could recommend to other people, that seems to be important. That seems to be something that Rotten Tomatoes probably wants to provide as a service. But Rotten Tomatoes has decided, again, uh, that if you are going to do this, they are going to silence your voice. They are going to silence your voices in a large... I mean, this is this is just absolutely uh, fascist. Uh, this is pretty incredible. I don't, I don't use that word lightly. Um, I mean, this is this is really kind of a scumbag move for them to actually give up, just throw it away. All of the trust that people have in Rotten Tomatoes. This has been a bad couple of weeks for that website. And again, people are looking for alternate uh, movie aggregate uh, review websites like uh, Metacritic right now. Other people are popping up saying, "Hey, I know that Rotten Tomatoes has basically dropped the ball. They betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back as viewers. Why did they do this?" It just seems that at this point, there is uh, some kind of unspoken, and by the way, we know this for a fact, but there is some kind of unspoken rule, or maybe it is spoken, within Hollywood that people who are access media journalists, right, people who have who get access to parties, the red carpet premieres, get to see these movies early, you are going to be told, or it's going to be insinuated to, or you're going to get leaned on, or you're going to get denied access suddenly if you don't softball some of their bigger releases. Now, of course, Disney spent $170 million 
uh, putting this movie out there. And it is important. This is a kind of a gateway movie. Uh, it's, it bridges the gap in between two big Avengers sequels. Uh, but most importantly, beyond that, once you know, once these Avengers sequels are over, the MCU is looking to go in a new direction. A lot of these characters, a lot of the characters that we uh, that we love already, a lot of the actors involved with these movies, they are not going to be making the return trip. After the second movie, after Avengers Endgame, the second part of the story arc with Thanos ends, a lot of these people who you've grown to love, a lot of these characters are not going to be in future uh, Avengers and, and MCU movies. And so they're trying to figure out where they're going to go from here. They're hoping that Captain Marvel, uh, and this is Marvel Comics' attitude too, Captain Marvel could kind of be the... Um, I don't know, the baseline, the bridge, the, the character that we build off of, the, the Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the, you know, the uh, Captain America of uh, this new MCU. Fat chance. Uh, not, not if this, not if the fans are to be listened to. We have to listen uh, to the people uh, who are access media journalists. And, of course, uh, yesterday um, I made a video calling out one specific Rotten Tomatoes journalist um, reviewer and he's, you know, he he's part of the website. You know, he works for SciFi.com, and he actually spilled the beans. Go back and listen to that video. This guy actually came out and said it. Uh, he actually said, "Look, there are times. Everybody does it." where you do have to soft pedal. You do have to play softball with some of these movies. Now, I could go to this movie and, and not like it. I could hate this movie. But am I going to say so? No, not if I want to retain my access. That's that's just part of being access media, he said. Axis, by the way, sounds an awful lot like Axis, A-X-I-S at this point. Uh, these are these people are fascists. They will actually review. Uh, they'll take down review scores. Look Again, let me just show you this hate crime. 58,353 user ratings all came to the 33% liked it mark. Uh, let's remove 54,000 of them. Boom. Just like that. Just boom. Uh, and by the way, uh, nice job, idiots. You only raised the score by 2%. Not 2%, by 5%. You only raised the score by 5%. It's still in the low 30s. This is ridiculous. It's still 36%. It's still an ugly, ugly little score with a uh, overturned popcorn bucket. Uh, you, you betrayed your audience. You betrayed your fans. You betrayed your users. And for what? To raise it 5% from 31% to 36%. I mean that is uh, that is extraordinary. You know what that says to me, by the way. That kind of says that you know within this fifty-four thousand, you actually deleted a good percentage of probably positive reviews from aud from audience scores. Uh, you must have, unless uniformly almost everyone hated this movie. You could get rid of the uh, get rid of another four thousand. I'll bet you're still at thirty-six percent. That is kind of how polls work. And by the way, uh, that what that does, Rotten Tomatoes, is that demonstrates. The accuracy of this poll. How many people liked it? It doesn't matter if you have 58,353 people or if you just have 4,200 people. The result is basically the same. You have a failing grade. Only one third. Only one third of people who went to this movie are willing to say that they liked it. And the other two thirds want to come out and vociferously deny uh, the existence of this movie. <laughs> they want to flush it. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible movie. Uh, now, I, we understand there's a lot of money in this, but uh, again, if you guys would just listen, get woke, go broke, stop it, stop it with this. How many more times, how many different ways do we have to tell you that we're tired of this, we're, we're just tired of the weirdo feminism? Do do a character, Do you know? find a character who is strong and female, find a character who sets a good example for women. Uh, this woman does not, this character isn't a good character, this is not a good superhero, her point, her existence is entirely the virtue signal from Marvel Comics to say, oh yeah, 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 we care about having strong independent female superheroes, do you? Well, where have they been for, for 60 years? Where have they been? I haven't seen them, and I've been looking. 60 years. What, now you had, to, you had to dig out Carol Danvers out of the mothballs and pretend that she was important all along? I've been a Marvel fan for most of my life. I don't remember Carol Danvers ever getting this kind of respect, ever getting this. The idea, if you had told me back in the 1980s that Carol Danvers, Ms. Marvel, would become Captain Marvel, and she would get her own movie, I would look at you like, what the f why? What for? To virtue signal, that's why. Just to let people know, uh, to create the impression, uh, and to make a statement. Uh, because Marvel Comics has been overtaken by political ideologues and 
uh, it's important that they do that. But this is the end result. You have destroyed Marvel Comics. You have probably, uh, whether you know it or not yet, I know the movie is right now coasting on the goodwill of people who have already enjoyed. They've enjoyed every MCU offering. They weren't expecting this. You're going to get a freebie here. People are going to go see this movie, and they're going to give you some money for it. Not as much money as you would have gotten were it not probably for uh, Brie Larson and for the incredible amount of obnoxious, awful virtue signaling uh, done by these people um, leading up to the movie. But you are. You're going to do fine. And then people are slowly going to feel betrayed. Uh, just like people feel betrayed by Rotten Tomatoes right now. This website, I'm afraid, is probably going to go down. Uh, if, if this is what you want to do, if you want to tell your audience that their views are not important, uh, that they are not a part of your website, that you consider them to be trolls who aren't to be listened to but who are to be um, ignored and their opinions swept under the carpet, if that's what you want to tell the people who actually give you ad revenue and, and visit your, uh, your website and utilize your website, then uh, that is interesting. Your name is now about to become unironic. It's about to become a real thing. Uh, get ready for that. Get ready for that. Great job, guys. Uh, fantastic job. Uh, you denied the voices of 54,000 people and ended up with the same result. You learned what a poll means today. You learned what, it, what an election actually does. Again, I've said it before. If you sample a drop of the ocean uh, or the entire ocean, you are going to understand. You're going you're gonna to learn what the salt content of the whole ocean is. It doesn't really matter how much of it you sample. Okay, That's what a poll is. That's what a sample is. You could slice this down to 42 viewers and get pretty much the same result, dummies. Uh, so ridiculous. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Uh, get angry about this stuff. Make noise about it. Let these people know. Leave me comments below. Let me know how you feel about this. How do you feel about 54,000 people's reviews being just swept away, wiped out from, uh, from wiped off of Rotten Tomatoes' website? Uh, it, it, is it peculiar to you? Are you starting to feel the what seems like a pretty vast conspiracy uh, on behalf of Disney, Marvel Comics, and then all of the media, the shill media. They, they're all in the bag at this point. Uh, even something like Rotten Tomatoes, which is just simply meant to collect reviews. Uh, they're also uh, under control of Disney. In fact, the president of Fandango, who owns Rotten Tomatoes, was a former executive at Disney. He's the president of Fandango now. I mean, the whole thing, these people are all, it's this incestuous... Uh, terrible, terrible uh, relationship, um, and the, the end result is dishonesty and propaganda. So, all right, react how you will. Uh, leave, me, uh, leave me a message below. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Also, please like this video, share this video, and if you hadn't, haven't yet subscribed to Comic Artist Pro Secrets, uh, now is the time. We've got a very, very important year ahead of us with another Avengers movie, and of course, we've got Cyber Frog coming out. Uh, after that, and then after that, we've got the Star Wars movie, Star Wars 9. So a lot of important stuff as we watch these people. We have to watch them like a hawk. Subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, join this family, join us. We want to hear your voice here. Uh, I'm not going to delete your comments. Uh, and uh, God bless. See you again soon with another video. Bye. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Show your friends you support independent comics while showing the world who you back in the fight against the swarm with the brand new Cyberfrog t-shirt from Crypto Fashion and Comic Artist Pro Secret. Sizes come in small to 5XL and take your choice of colors between navy blue, white, and black. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and order the Phantom Menace, Go Get Daddy's Belt, Tico, and Soilo t-shirts as well. Link is below in the description. You're going to look great. People love these shirts. They fit wonderfully. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Bring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned. Another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.